fifth grade. Thanks for joining me again. We are going over lesson 100 of math. You need your math book. You need something to write with. You need to have read the lesson and gone over the lesson outline on Jupiter. We're starting on page 517. Today we're talking about simplifying decimal numbers. When we write numbers, we usually write them in simplest form. To simplify a number, we change the form of the number, but we do not change the value of the number. For example, we simplify fractions by reducing. Often we can simplify decimal numbers by removing unnecessary zeros. So we can remove zeros from the front of whole numbers and the back of decimal numbers. So we've, we've talked about this before, but we're just gonna practice it a little bit more. So if you have extra zeros in at the front of your whole number, you can take them away. If you have extra zeros at the end of your decimal number, you can take those away and it doesn't change the value of the number. If you have a zero between two other digits, you cannot take that away because that is a placeholder for a place value and you will change the value of the number. So we often leave the zero in the ones place value of decimal numbers that don't have any whole numbers. So we do not often use the decimal point as the beginning of a number. We do want to have a zero before it just to make it clearer. It doesn't actually change the value of the number. So we're going to do a little bit of practice. On page 518, we have our practice set down at the bottom. So A, we're gonna simplify each decimal number. So A is 0. Point, sorry, 0, 0.03.20. So this is three and 20 hundredths. We can take off the zero before the three and the zero after the two and we have three and two tenths, or 3.2. This is exactly the same. Same value, different number of digits. B, we have 0 0.320. We have 320 thousandths. So we can take off the zero at the end of our decimal number. We are going to leave the zero in front, sorry, to the right of our decimal, to the left of our decimal point. We're going to leave that there so that our decimal point is clearer. So we have 0 0.32. C is 32, and it just read 32. It's 32 and zero hundredths, but we wouldn't really ever read a number that way. It's 32.00. We can take off those zeros. And since we are taking off those zeros and we are just left with our whole number, we can take off our decimal point too. It doesn't change the value. And we just have 32. D is three and 20 thousandths, 3.020. We can simplify this number by removing the zero after the two. And we have three and two hundredths, 3.02. We cannot take out that zero that's in the middle because it's between two digits. It's a placeholder for a place value and it has to be there. Otherwise, we would be changing the value of the number. For E, F, and G, we're asked to add and subtract and then simplify our answer. So E is three and 65 hundredths plus six and 35 hundredths. So we put our decimal point down into our answer. Five plus five is 10. One plus six plus three is 10. One plus three plus six is 10. So the first, our calculation gives us 10.00. So if we wanted to write this answer in its simplest form, we would take off our two zeros at the end and our decimal point, and we would just write 10. F is 23 and 16 hundredths minus 19 and 46 hundredths. 
So we're going to drop our decimal point down into our answer. 6 minus 6 is 0. 1 minus 4 we can't do. We're going to borrow from our 3. That gives us 2. 11 minus 4 is 7. 2 minus 9, we can't do that. We're going to borrow from our 2. That leaves us with 1. 12 minus 9 is 3. 1 minus 1 is 0. So our initial calculation gives us 0, 0, 0.3.70. 3 and 70 hundredths. To write this in its simplest form, we can take off both the 0 in front of our whole number and the 0 at the end of our decimal number. And that will leave us with 3 and 7 tenths, or 3.7, which is the same value. We've just taken off the zeros and written it in its simplest form. G is 4 and 23 hundredths minus 3 and 18 hundredths. We're going to drop our decimal point down into our answer. 3 minus 8, we can't do. We're going to borrow from our 2. That leaves us with 1. 13 minus 8 is going to be 5. 1 minus 1 is 0. 3, 4 minus 3 is 1. And our calculation gives us 1 and 5 hundredths, 1.05. This is the simplest form of this number. We cannot remove anything from this number without changing the value. That's the answer. H is asking us to attach a zero to the end of 2.5, 2 and 10, 2 and 5 tenths without changing its value. So we would have 2 and 50 hundredths, 2.50. I is asking us to attach a zero to the end of 6 without changing its value. So we talked about this in our last lesson. We've talked about this at various times. When we have a whole number, the decimal point is at the end, and we have 6.0. We've added a zero to the end, but we have not changed the value. All right, so that is writing decimal numbers in the simplest form. I hope this has been helpful, and I'll see you guys here later for more math. Bye, everybody.